Hello, you beautiful nerds. Welcome to the Drunk Banthas channel, where we talk about sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and all of the popular art that we love. I'm here with my brother, Bill. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, before we get started, I want to go ahead and remind everybody to go ahead and leave a like, if you don't mind. Uh, this is the first episode of the Drunk Banthas podcast, uh, and I wanted to talk about some recent DC movie news. Uh, Collider reported that Michael B. Jordan is developing a Val Zod Superman miniseries for HBO Max. This comes a few months after Deadline reported that ta Coates and J.J. Abrams are working on a black Superman movie. Uh, so now we have not one, but two black Superman projects two. going on uh, at the same time. Two. Which is so strange. Um, two Batman movies, <laughs> two Superman movies. Yeah, it's, that's just how they do it at DC. I guess that's how they, yeah, they, they want to make two bad movies at a time. Why um, do you want to go against our formula, Alex? <laughs> this is what we do at DC. I What, what was your reaction when you heard uh, about these movies my genuine reaction was who's asking for this and <laughs> right then my second reaction was this is terrible i mean i feel like people are just trying to tap into the quote-unquote black market it's sizzling mm -hmm. right now in hollywood and they need somebody to fill that void and who better than black people's real superman Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> right? Yeah, like, oh, man, gosh. Everybody fucking loves Michael B. Jordan right now. Uh, he's in everything. Yeah. And uh, he's, I think he's producing also... Producing a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's also producing a Static Shock uh, project, apparently. Um, but it's just weird because, like, like, we've talked about this before. Like, you know, not on the pod, obviously, but... Uh, like about just this false representation because it happens a lot in comic books mm -hmm. where you know you change you take a character like a white straight character and just make it a, a black version or gay. female version or gay version oh. rather. <laughs> I mean, well, that that no, that, that does, like it happens all the time. As a black person, and I just feel like this is all a bunch of horse and dog type show type thing it's like mm. dog and pony show is that what uh, yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah i might yeah. I, sound, like I probably sound like a russian spy cast. right now <laughs> it's horse and pony show <laughs> this, this is the expression yes this is expression <laughs> we have horse and we have dog show <laughs> at the same time this is beautiful and we it eat, is a calvin kid show yes. we eat loser of, <laughs> of, of event this is good this is good time <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think we need a black Superman. We don't need a. We don't need like to keep doing all these like black Captain America, black Thor's next. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Black Hulk. Uh, there's a lot of black superhero characters. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they need to like try to focus on doing some of those, maybe. Yeah, like. You, way back, you know, like, I mean, it's it's been happening for a while now, obviously. You know, a lot of characters get uh, gender bent or uh, uh, they change their race. Like, I think uh, Elektra is Daredevil right now in the comic books. But, it, like, one of, like the one of the things you were alluding to, like, the reason it feels disingenuous is because, like, there are other black characters and female characters that you could just, like, elevate without having to, like, replace the characters that we've already instilled in our mind as like you know who they are like we've you know clark kent's been superman our whole lives so when you decide that we're gonna make a black superman it just feels like a what if comic or something like that it doesn't feel real especially exactly. when it is that is what it is because if you look at it uh what's his name that they called him i don't remember the character but the black there's two black superman characters in the comic book and they're mm -hmm. both like alternate versions of superman they're not right they're not superman there's no like s continued storyline and books that right this guy this superman has adventures with uh what black batman and 
and Indian mm. Robin. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like the yeah, East things. Indian Green Arrow. And all yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> a West Indian uh, Green Lantern. <laughs> you know, like yeah, like that's that's that, not that's like not, there's no storylines that are continuing like that. But it also like 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 you said, like, well, one of the things that's so perplexing about this specifically is that. DC does have a black Superman character that they now own because Milestone Media, right? Uh, that's comic, what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, like that that comic. Yeah, the Milestone Media comic book uh, icon, such an interesting character about like a character that uh, is basically like a Superman. He came from a distant land, landed in America, but like pre Civil War America. So now this super powered black person has to li- deal with being a slave and priest of war. That's already a way more interesting story than just like deciding you're gonna turn Clark Kent black. Uh, like it's already so much more interesting, and you could have it without it. Ha- you can create this without it having the weight of like, you know, Clark Kent and Superman behind it. You don't have all these nerds, you know, saying like, "Why are you changing this?" Facts. So like, and you know, and who are we to say? that that's not the plan. We true. don't know that that's not the plan. That is true. <laughs> it's not the plan. It's not <laughs> the plan. These, these guys, they mess this up a lot. They yeah. have a track record of doing this wrong, and uh, I feel like they're just going to keep doing this wrong. <laughs> they're yeah. not going to take their foot off the gas pedal. Yeah. It's all gas, no brakes. And not to mention <laughs> the Warner Brothers CEO is quoted as saying that he doesn't like any of this stuff. He thinks it's all a joke and he thinks that none of it's really a moneymaker or worth putting his investment into. So that just shows you there's never going to be a continuity to any of this stuff because they're just allowed to do whatever will make the most money the quickest. You're right. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of bullshit going on in shop right now with DC. They really need to they really need to get their shit they get their house in order. Get your house in order. DC. Uh, I hope and you know also shout outs to DC Animation for always being better than live action DC. They introduced Icon and his sidekick Rocket in Young Justice uh, like season 1. Right. I didn't even know who I was like who the who's this black dude? <laughs> when I saw it, like it was on uh, when the, it initially came on, and that's how I even found out who Icon was. But yeah, so shout out to DC Animation, always doing shit better. Always does it better, and you know I think it's because they're not controlled by Warner Brothers. Yeah, they are more independent. They have Warner Brothers Animation, the, which Warner is Brothers like, Animation. Yeah, excuse me, all. people, for you nerds, do not at me. I mean <laughs> that they're not a part of Warner Brothers Cinema. Right, yeah, like not Warner Brothers animation. Jesus, I, I feel like, um, you know, there's all kinds of comic book characters we could have just gone with, like that are just in DC. Mm. We could have gone with you were talking about Static Shock, right? You know, why are we just putting that on the back burner? Why is it not just going in instead of this right Superman thing? Why not just put all your efforts into that or? Or, or, why not, instead of doing a Green Lantern television series, mm. just have a Jon Stewart movie? Thank you. Like, the, every, everybody everybody of this generation grew up with Jon as the Green Lantern. He's our boy. Let's just go ahead and make a Green Lantern movie. What about, him. isn't Vixen DC? Yeah, Vixen. Yeah. What about a Vixen movie? That would be. That you would already be have a character for. Her. Yeah, they already had like the animated series that was really well received. The animation was really really good. I think it just got low funding. Come on, come on. This is simple. I feel like uh, Batwing. Batwing. Oh yeah, that's like the like the the that's that, like that black Fox's character. Son. Yeah, yeah, and he's like he his costume like looks like yeah. Batman mixed with Nightwing. He's yeah, got he can a, fly basically. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's like pretty. Th- I know very, fly. I know very little about the character, but he's got a sick ass costume. I would like to see that. It's dope, right? How about uh, a Steel movie? Yeah. Oh my gosh, a Steel Steel is need, in need of a redemption, real bad. Because right? that Shaquille O'Neal movie, man, I was just thinking about that this morning, actually. Right. Say less. Like about we watched that movie that. like four times just because we were so thirsty for comic book movies, watched even though that movie was trash. A lot. 
<laughs> Watched it so many times that even us as seven and eight year olds realized it was really bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how many times we watched that. But yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, like you, the fact that you've just mentioned so many comic book characters offhand that they're just deciding not to do is just kind of, well, it's, it's, it's really weird. It just shows you that no one gives a shit actually about black comic book characters or black people in general. They just like to, talk, to, they like to act like they care about them, yeah. So that they can make as much money as possible. Facts, yeah. These are the unfortunate, gory details <laughs> in this situation, and they would have, you know, like. I was about to tell a really bad joke right then, so I'm not gonna say <laughs> that. I was, I was, <laughs> 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 I was going to say they would insert a racist situation historically here and have a movie about that if they thought it would make a lot of money. Mm. And I'm not going to say what the situation was, but I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm curious. Now I just want to know. <laughs> if you think you know what it is, leave it in the comments. Yeah, leave a comment if you think you know what racist situation I'm talking about <laughs> in history. And uh, insert it there. I'm probably sure a lot of them will fit, even if they're not the right answer. Right, <laughs> right. And would you go see it? Would you? <laughs> and actually, yeah. That, would that... you go see uh, insert here <laughs> racist movie? Uh, would Would which, you go see that? Which does uh, bring me to my like next question. Like, despite it being a da- bad idea on paper, like Tanahasi Coates, Tanahisi Coates is like a world class. <laughs> Writer wrote for Captain America, wrote for the Atlantic. Great writer. Um, wrote a lot of things. Wrote a lot of things. Uh, but do you think? Do you think that there's a possibility that this movie is going to be any good? Or, or actually, re- better question: Do you think? Are you going to see it? Well, first of all, or are you just going to stay? I'm going to answer the first question. All right. Yeah. Okay. So first, Tana Hensley Coates mm. wrote a lot of things. <laughs> But he ain't wrote one thing. <laughs> and that's a movie. <laughs> that is a good point. Scene. Ain't no movies, man. He ain't <laughs> never wrote a movie. So I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah. Secondly. That is a legit concern. Look, I'm not. I'm not. Look. I hope I get to write a movie for the first <laughs> time. And then a whole bunch of y'all go see it. So I'm not saying that's nobody can write a movie just because it's the first time writing a movie. Mm. But what I will say is. Who's the director? Who's the showrunner? That's when I need like, you know, mm. I need to know those types of things. before right. I condemn a television show or DC, a DC television show and or movie. Right. I probably will not go see it <laughs> unless it's on HBO Max, baby. <laughs> if they put it on HBO Max, I'd probably watch it. I haven't watched Space Jam. Yeah. I've watched just about everything else that's DC related, mm-hmm. at least, um, on HBO Max. So if they put that out, I mean, I gave Wonder Woman a try. Why not? But I haven't I mean, seen The Joker. I mean, so yeah, that's what, what I, was... I think you people ought to start doing is stop going to see these bad movies, these bad premises that you did not ask for. And think about it like this. If they have to tell you what kind of movie they're making, it's probably not a good movie. Everybody in the studio knows it's not a good movie. That's why they're leaking out that they're doing a movie. How many people leaked out that Jonathan Majors was going to be in Loki. Mm. No one. It was all speculative and based on the things that we saw once we saw the first episode right. of Loki. But nobody knew Jonathan Majors was going to actually be in it. Like I said, I hold out right. hope that it's truly an icon movie. Right. That these reports are... Yeah. Maybe they're, you know, they're they're just better at this or just as good at the whole espionage thing with uh, that Marvel right. is. You know, yeah. maybe they're good at like just keeping things closer to things close to the vest 
And J.J. Abrams is a, supposed to be a part of it, right? Right, yeah. So he's really good at lying to people <laughs> about what he's doing with his projects. That, that is true. He's got a history of that. So that's the only thing we can hope uh, hope for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DC fans, that's all you got to hope for <laughs> is that hopefully J.J. Abrams is telling a lie and he's actually doing an icon movie. Yeah, that's, yeah actually, that's, that's the best, that's best case scenario for me, honestly. And yeah, like you say, he has a history of lying about movies just to like keep his movies secret um i yeah i was thinking i was struggling with this too because like i've I, again i also haven't seen joker despite the fact that i consume every comic book thing lately uh especially everything dealing with batman but that movie was just like so outside of what i gave a shit about i just never i never watched it and i probably never will you i'm not gonna you're not gonna get me to go see a movie that you have already deemed not a part of the rest of the Batman universe like DC universe like you've already said that that's not a part of like what we're doing going forward so what's the what does it mean what does it mean or what does it matter to me right and yeah and th- that and yeah well I mean yeah I have a I have a whole I could talk for a whole other podcast about why I don't like the idea of Joker but yeah like I wasn't sure if I wanted to put this in that category, and I'm still not entirely sure. I guess I need to see more details about it. But right now, where it stands, I don't think I'm gonna see this movie because, uh, like, it's just—it's not something I'm looking. It's not that something I asked for. It's not I'm not interested I'm in seeing any more movies in the comic book realm that are just one-offs or money grabs, mm. or I want to see a story, and I want that story to be told well that's what i'm that's what i'm going to pay my money for now i'm not going to pay to see half ass television and or movies anymore it's 2021 and we just have too many options and sony and marvel are fucking killing it so yeah why why would you settle for the the shitty shit and the only way you're going to get these people to start making good movies people is by stop watching these movies that they put out. Don't watch the shit that they force down your throat. Like they're forcing the shit down your throat. Yeah, you guys don't actually have to watch it. You don't you have to watch to. it. If it looks bad, like if you really think the Suicide Squad movie looks bad, don't just don't go, go watch it, it just because James Gunn is the director of it. Yeah, and don't go watch it just to shit on it too. I I shit on Joker a lot, and I've never seen it. <laughs> no, if you happen to just watch it because it's on your HBO Max account, you know. I ain't mad at that. Yeah. Do what you do. I ain't mad at that because yeah, I might watch it. Cause I might be a little, you know, a little, you know, a little drink it, drink, drink. You know what I'm saying? I might watch it. You know, but not for fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, audiences have always had a problem with just not seeing stuff that they don't want to see. They always have to, like, rally against the things that they don't want to see when they could just change the channel, not go to the movie. But, yeah, I, I'm I'm going to just choose to not go see this one, probably. And, and, unless some more details come out, I'm allowed to change my mind. But, yeah, like, right now, I'm, I'm on. It's a no for me, dog. Are you going to watch the Green Lantern series still have to yeah, that's another one that i need more details about dc in general they like I, i'm very on the fence it's not every time i hear anything right now i'm kind of more of a yes on that one just because i haven't seen green lantern live action and 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 i'm uh, in a long time and i'm just curious yeah but, i'm like you know i don't know Shit's about to hit the fan, man. It's going to be a lot of bad stuff coming out. <laughs> like I said earlier, Warner Brothers CEO does not like DC properties. So, therefore, yeah. you're pushing a big rock uphill when it comes to these types of things. Yeah. Zack Snyder's everybody's favorite producer, so he was able mm-hmm. to get a lot of stuff done. But that's... Not yeah. everybody. He's not. Everybody's not Zack Snyder, and he's not working on every project. Neither yeah. is his wife. And it seems like he's uh, like he just signed a big deal with Netflix. So it seems like he does, and he was uh, uh, very vocal about how upset he was about the everything that went down with Warner Brothers and how they pretty much more or less pushed him out the door with the whole Justice League situation more so than he quit. 
He essentially, uh, yeah, he essentially got fired. Yeah, but so, that's what you do when you get fired. You just start talking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's especially especially if you got fired and you got a better job. <laughs> that's what he did. He just said, "Fuck y'all, man. I'm talking <laughs> shit. Hey, man, y'all over there doing it wrong over there, man." <laughs> So, yeah, man, I think that's where we're headed, and I think it's good for Marvel fans, mm. bad for DC fans. Mm. Yeah. And if you're fans of both, it's melancholy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be different. How the story going to be different and all that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on how well that movie is going to be. Yeah. How good that movie is going to be. Um, I think it's just going to be too... I think it's gonna be real black. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know shit, what I'm saying. And I, coast. I think yeah. it's gonna be real black, and then it might be like way too much for what people are gonna hate it. I might like, <laughs> it. I might like, right. it, but then everybody else is gonna hate it, uh-huh. and then it's never gonna. They're not gonna do another one. It's called Lovecraft, <laughs> right? It's called Lovecraft Country. <laughs> Um, yeah, it'll probably yeah it'll, it'll win six Oscars and then they won't make a second one. <laughs> right, or uh, the Watchmen. Yeah. Oh yeah. God you know, damn. Season yeah. one of the Watchmen television show. You know we do that. Everybody love it. It's the only thing. It's the only television show anyone's talking about. Oof. And then we just you know we're not gonna do that no more. <laughs> God damn! I want to rewatch Watchmen now. I, I just I don't want to watch rewatch any of them. It makes me upset. <laughs> yeah. Because there should be another one. Where's my season two Lovecraft country? Where's my season two Watchmen? <laughs> Y'all let these black folks make these shows, man. These black folks are making historical moves and making historical mm-hmm. uh, 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 content. And we just got to let them work, baby. Let them work. Quit taking away, you know, quit giving these, what is that? The Nevers. Quit giving oh, shit yeah, like that nevers. a season. Uh, See, quit giving that, man. quit giving them things. Quit I doing bet. that. Quit doing that. <laughs> I bet HBO Max could take that shit back. You can't, like, take, quit doing that. Quit doing that. Y'all quit doing that. Bring back Lovecraft Country, even if it's different actors, even if it's a different story. You know, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. like, what are you, what are you making instead of Lovecraft Country season two? Season Make two. Icon, goddammit. <laughs> Icon is a great comic book. Yeah, he's a great comic book character, and he's authentic, and he's real black. He's blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all. <laughs> that's, that's it for this episode. Uh, let us know what you guys think of a black Superman movie. Black Superman. Please keep your questions and comments not racist. Like, if you black don't mind. Superman. Uh, but we are curious of what you think. And let us know if there are any other topics that you want us to talk about in the future. Uh, again, don't forget to leave a like, uh, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Smash that thumbs up button. Thanks for listening, you guys. Stay safe, you beautiful nerds, and may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs>